A few years ago, I shared with you guys some of my favorite rose fragrances, and it's been quite a while since then. So many amazing new rose fragrances have come out. That list has certainly changed for me, so I figured it's time to share my updated top picks for rose fragrances. So that's what we're doing today. I have a really broad spectrum of different types of rose fragrances, exciting new releases, and some kind of older favorites. So we'll jump into that. If you guys are new here, my name is Yana. This is The Scented. We do all the fun fragrance things. Hit the sub button, stick around, and let's get into it. I think I'm gonna start with a cheapie. I wasn't sure which one I wanna start with, but I'm gonna throw this cheapie out there right away. Bath & Body Works Rose. Like this, for the price point, you really can do no better than this dewy, fresh, clean rose scent. It It's so simple and so beautiful. It is like, really just a simple dewy fresh bright rose there's a little bit of muskiness in here layered together with the cream they smell beautiful and this is a perfect dupe for Maison Francis Kirk John's uh, L'eau à la rose that's a really nice um, fresh clean rose scent quite expensive and hard to justify for the price point but this really does the job and I find that it lasts a very long time. I don't have the actual fragrance. I just have the mist. The mist does just fine. I use it very occasionally, but for the price point, really, I think hard to beat this rose. Now let's look at Amazing Grace Intense. Amazing Grace Intense is pretty underrated and I only like the Intense. This has some kind of like, smells like sugar crusted cranberries in the opening. It sticks around. It's very sexy. It's a very sexy feminine, musky kind of flirty rose not overly sweet more musky except for this like tangy berry facet this is to me so different than the original amazing grace and i like this so much better the intense is just it's just gorgeous um also not the most expensive fragrance but it smells very very nice this one can be a problem if oversprayed though because of that muskiness it just can become a little bit overbearing a little bit headache inducing so just like a note of caution on that but otherwise a stunning scent here's another underrated one and this one is called Kashan rose from the different company this one i got at fragrancebuy.ca i think i got it for about a hundred dollars it is a niche fragrance but it's a little more affordable than a lot of designer fragrances and way better smelling too. Like this is a very also fresh rose. It's almost aquatic. There's peony in here. There's lychee. There's a little tiny bit of pink pepper in the opening, but for me, it's almost like a, like a soft powdery rose, like a, a pink rose. Really the smells like the color pink and the dry down is a soft musky scent with a little bit of sandalwood there's no sharpness in the scent the pepper i wouldn't worry about the pepper just a little bit in the opening i know a lot of people worry about pepper it just gives a little tingle in the opening it combines really nicely with the lychee note and this is really just like a pink peony and rose gentle easy fresh fragrance i really really love this like as just a simple rose fragrance it's a bit similar to rose from bath and body works but it, it smells a little bit more refined and a little bit longer lasting too okay let's get into a little bit of a deeper one this is a personal obsession of mine dior ombre nuit this is the best rose amber patchouli scent ever i think if you miss Midnight Poison from Dior. Not that this is similar, but it really gives that satisfaction. To me, at least, I get the same satisfaction, a very similar feeling when I wear the scent. It is a very unisex fragrance. My man likes to steal this one too, occasionally. It's smooth. It's a very warm, warm, enveloping scent. I layer this with Coco Noir sometimes, and they smell amazing together. So, yeah, Ombre Nuit is just like the creme de la creme for me. But another one that I recently discovered is Fenty. Can you believe it? Like, I couldn't believe how good this is. I know that this has such mixed reviews and I was feeling a little bit skeptical, but you know, I didn't know what to expect because the opening notes are supposed to be like blueberry and tangerine and then there's like rose patchouli and I was like, mm, I don't know how those are gonna work. But it actually is so nice because the blueberry and the tangerine just lend a gentle sweetness just a little bit and the scent is actually a little bit powdery a little bit creamy i smell a little bit of like a cacao powder in here it's really really nice also a very warm scent very enveloping dominant in rose and patchouli so i think maybe people like 
the general audience for this fragrance maybe isn't like really into that scent profile like I could be wrong but I feel like maybe people go for this thinking it's gonna be ultra gourmand and it really isn't it's like a really womanly like quite elegant scent so for me I, I've been wearing this a ton like I am so so impressed with this fragrance here's another surprising one French leather you would think it's a leathery scent but it's really like rose a little bit limey it's really like the leather is so supple and so soft and light it doesn't dominate and take over it's a it's not like don't be scared of this leather note it's not intimidating it's a very very soft leather this also is extremely unisex and i think if a man were to wear this it would be a very like gentlemanly scent it's very very elegant it also has a little bit of sage you know a little bit of pepper like aromatic qualities to it it's hard to pinpoint exactly it has a little bit of this like airy aromatic quality a little bit of woodiness but yeah the the notes that stick out the most are like the, the rose lime and the like very soft suede note okay we'll jump to a fresh one this one here is gold coast from bond number nine it is capless because it's a tester bottle that i also picked up on fragrancebuy.ca they often have really great steals especially for tester bottles this kind of gives me the vibe of delina la rose like you guys aren't seeing delina in this list because although it is a really nice rose fragrance everybody already knows about it i'm just trying to bring you guys something new and interesting and different and this is very much along the vein of like La Rose from that lineup because it has this aquatic quality, this lightness to it. But this is actually a little bit more aquatic and I have a strong preference to this. I don't know why, but I just like this just resonates with me more. I like this saltiness almost. It's like cool salty quality about it. And there's a note of watermelon, which is subtle. It's subtle but it makes it a lot more fun this really is like you're by the seaside and there's a beautiful like rose garden that you're catching wafts of and you're just like sitting there by the ocean eating a little slice of watermelon by the way if you guys wanted to sample any of these you can get decants of any of these fragrances on the scented.ca and i will be putting bundles together so i will put together a best rose bundle that will probably include all of these except for obviously the bath and body works fragrance because I mean, it's Bath and Body Works. But, okay, here's this next one. It's Atelier des Ors, and this is Rose Omeyad. This is a rose oud fragrance, a sweet rose. There's touches of brown sugar in here, but it is not overpoweringly sweet. It's really, really balanced. It's a feminine rose oud combo. It is striking. It's bold. And it's soft. Like, it's a, it's a really, really well-balanced scent. I like this sweet rose in here. It's it's uh, something that I struggle with in rose oud combos is sometimes when the rose is overpoweringly sweet, sometimes a bit too powdery. And in here, they've balanced it really nicely. There's even a little bit of tanginess in here. It's, it's very warm and it would be a very special occasion scent. Now here is the newest release from Ducita and this is called Rosarine. This is also a very elegant rose. This is a woody rose and they have a lot of notes in this fragrance, but what stands out to me the most are the, the sweet facets, especially in the opening. There's lychee, there's a little bit of raspberry. The rose is a little bit of a sweeter quality and there's incense, so it's really balanced with drier notes like patchouli, incense, woody notes. I feel like if you love Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mal. This is something you would enjoy, but this is a lot brighter, but still like very elegant, classic, bold rose scent. This is really beautiful. It is intense, but it is likable, especially if you're somebody who enjoys rose fragrances. Again, very warm. I think this is more for the winter time, like fall, winter type of scent. And we're gonna wrap this up in more of a playful direction. So the next one is from Parfums de Rosine, and this is called Boule de Rose, and it comes with this cute little blue pom-pom. Me, personally, I love wearing this one. I wear this one of all of these, probably, mm, after Entre Nuit, maybe, like, I wear this, like, the, the fourth most, the third or fourth most frequent worn for me. This is a soapy, sweet, playful rose, a little bit musky, but really it's like a, like a, bubble gummy soapy rose it is super cute super playful it just makes me smile and i think this is probably like the girliest the safest kind of 
fun, playful rose. It really smells like soap, like a soap bar. It's actually super cool. And that whole house, Les Parfums de Rosine, they have like really beautiful, fresh, kind of bright floral fragrances. And I think they're so underrated. And lastly, as an honorable mention, because it's a discontinued fragrance, well, it's not discontinued, but it's been reformulated. It is the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum from 2017. I don't know why they couldn't just stick to this because this is perfection. This is just sweet, citrusy, rose perfection. This is like the, like if you like Coco Mademoiselle, this is like, you would like this too, but this is a lot sweeter and maybe more modern. I feel people that aren't really into Chanel, like you would still like this. Similar idea, but very, very likable, very girly, just, uh, I, I wish this was still in production. I have two bottles, so I have this available for decanting for anybody who wants to try it or just have it on hand because I, I have like from 1ml to 10ml. Anyway, I'll make sure 10mls are available if anybody wants to just have a little like taste of history that is so good. They discontinued all of their best fragrances. Miss Dior Cherie is discontinued. Oh man, like I'm. don't get me started. I'm getting myself started. I'm gonna go on a whole rampage about how mad I am that they discontinue so many good Miss Dior's. Anyway, that one's good. So that is it. Those are my favorite rose fragrances. Comment down below. Let me know some of your favorites. I will definitely check them out if I haven't already. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.